Ready when you are. Nicola Bully's devastated family will give evidence when the inquest into her tragic death resumes at County Hall Preston today. Partner Paul Ansell and Nicola's sister Louise Cunningham will take to the witness box to talk about the much-loved 45-year-old mother, partner, sister and daughter and how her disappearance turned their lives upside down. The mother of two vanished on a cold January morning while walking her dog Willow near to the River Wire in St Michael's. Her body was not found for 23 days and during that time her family had to endure unprecedented attention in the media and on social media as the search for Nicola hit the headlines in the UK and around the world. Some sections of the media were slammed for their intrusion into Nicola's home life, as were Lancashire police for the decision to make public her struggles with alcohol and the menopause, something which even the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak admitted he found concerning. On the opening day of the inquest yesterday, senior coroner Dr James Aidley heard claims that when partner Paul got a phone call from the village school to say Nicola's phone and dog had been found uh, near to the river bank, he had said she had been struggling. Paul made six frantic phone calls to her mobile in the space of seven minutes, which all went unanswered. He then sent a WhatsApp message saying, have you got lost? When that too brought no response, he dialed 999 and drove to the scene from the couple's home in Inskip. Yesterday, the inquest was told Nicola died from drowning and there was no evidence she had been assaulted. She was alive when she entered the, entered the water, but cold water shock would have rendered her unconscious within seconds. The first witness today will be mental health expert Teresa Lewis Levy uh, from Blackpool, who specialises in providing support for those in crisis. She will be followed by Nicola's GP, Dr Rebecca Gray from Great Eccleston, to talk about the health issues she had been having treatment for. Nicola's sister Louise will then take to the witness box before Paul Ansell is the final person to give evidence. Lancashire Police, who were criticised for the way they handled the case during the time Nicola was missing, are expected to issue a statement at the inquest as the inquest closes. Nicola's family have already said they will not speak to the media and have asked not to be approached, although it's not known if they will make a response through the police.